of my favorite anecdotes from the campaign is when we report on our website. My co-blogger, co-writer, was traveling through western Pennsylvania, talked to an Obama canvasser, an Obama volunteer in western Pennsylvania, and she had knocked on a door somewhere in, you know, I don't know, Erie or, or Lancaster. I know the geography that well, you know. And, you know, she said, I'm from the Obama campaign. You know, do you happen to know who you're voting for? She's doing their voter tagging. And the woman answered the door and said, yeah, I think we're voting for the N-word, right? And, you know, and she's like, let me check with my husband. And she shouts to her husband, hey, who are we voting for? He's like, oh, yeah, we're voting for the N-word. And she's like, we're voting for the N-word. And that's the end of the interaction. Um, I think there's more of a continuum for how every individual resolves this kind of racial question. I think a lot of people are a little bit racist and a few people are a lot racist. One thing people forget is that Barack Obama did not start out um, with the entirety of the black vote in hand. In fact, not even a majority necessarily. Um, some polls as late as Thanksgiving had Hillary winning the black vote about, about three to two. If not for the economic crisis, I would say I'm fairly optimistic uh, overall. And maybe it's kind of not the, the only kind of non-academic, I guess, on the panel. Uh, you know, I think, I think it is generational in large part um, where you see, I mean, you know, the splits between, you know, with Obama winning two-thirds of voters under the age of 30, I mean, you know, no candidate's ever won, you know, any group at all by that margin, any, any age group, you know. So, and I, th I think also Barack Obama is not only, uh, you know, the first black president, I also, I've also said he's kind of the first um, urban president where, you know, in a way, you know, the fact that he has, that he was kind of brought up by a single mother, the fact that he had this kind of complex experience of growing up where he was in, his story's a little bit complicated. And I think that's kind of how people nowadays kind of relate to, you know, you don't meet very many people who kind of grew up in the traditional, you know, uh, nuclear family in a house uh, in the suburbs somewhere. You know, it's more layered and complicated than that. And I think when people say, you know, I relate to Barack Obama, that's part of it.